that's what it's called. <laughs> I can't remember the name. Um, oh, yeah. Where it's just like pretty much meant to sell Pokemon and all these other games, and then we have Terry for Smash DLC. Like, there's a lot. It, it's if you look at Nintendo's track record, like we know for sure we're not getting the next character until like sometime in January. Yeah, probably. Enough about get, getting characters. We're getting two characters on the screen, and now it is going to be Bowser Jr. and uh, Game and Watch. Funny thing about Game and Watch is you actually now the bucket has kind of been like more even in past games, but it's still a, a threat for Game and Watch too because he, uh, if bucket doesn't uh, absorb the projectile, it reflects it back. Yeah, so the reflect is something that was added in this game, right? Mm -hmm. Bit of a buff for the character. And what's funny too is we all thought it was a nerf. Like we all thought like Game Watch Ford Air is gone, right? Like his his weight is still there, uh, but no, he actually is better than ever. Yeah, that's right. That's strange. I think uh, there were a lot of knee jerk reactions to when this game came out, but um, you know that's changed over some time. I think a lot of people thought Banjo would be like a low or a mid tier, but. I think we've seen a lot of people do a show that this character has some serious or that character has some serious potential. Yeah, definitely I do see Banjo being more of a, like a high tier top tier almost. Oh, nice. He has to go for that low recovery. He doesn't want to go for the high one because he knows he might land the game and watch up smash. Has been nerfed from four, but still a really great up smash in general. Yeah, so Tater's sort of struggling a little bit. Disadvantage right now. He's taking a lot of damage, but. Uh, Paper has yet to find the kill here. Yeah, 153. Uh, the one thing that Bowser Jr. does have over Game & Watch, weight. A lot of the weight in there. He's able to survive back there, whereas Game & Watch is a line as a paper. Tater in Top particular, I can see him living so long yeah. in this game. The, in, in 4, it was a bit of a glitch where like Bowser Jr. is supposed to take less damage while on the cart, and then off the cart, this character is really, really uh, weak. But now they kind of like fix it in this game. And, like If you hit the cart, you kind of like have to space yourself where you hit Bowser Jr. in the head, because yeah. they'll take more damage that way. And if you hit the cart, they're taking less damage. So you kind of have to really pay attention to your moves. And then forward smash to do like a lot of uh, like a lot of like shield damage. Now this game doesn't do as much. I'll try to go cross up. That's the one thing that I feel like uh, Tater is going to be going for a couple of the side knees. But you have to really pay attention to the fact that Paper has that up beyond shield. Really good to avoid the cross up as well. Yeah, definitely. Tater hasn't really been able to get much off of these side knees. And he's been punished really hard for it. Yeah. In all honesty, I really don't like. I really don't understand how this magic. Oh, the shield is low. But that's the thing too. Paper can just up beyond a shield, and that's one thing like Tater has to be careful for. Is like how often he's going to do that. Get up smash, just barely missing. Oh. Yeah. I mean, uh, Paper almost getting another kill off the floor there, and the landing floor oh. there, there. Yes, Ooh. yeah. yeah. Okay. It's really hard for him to take the stock, too, because the way that, like, Paper's just kind of playing super adamant just by, like, holding shield. And that's the one thing you have to do about against IB, right? It's like, no, you're going to get crossed up. You might go for, uh, for, for burnout. So you have to be careful, but like as long as you're holding shield and there's identical options you have, like Game of Watch is not B, which is really difficult to deal with, you're not gonna be suffering too much in this matchup. That's why I feel like Paper is doing really well. It's Tatum who kinda has to figure out the matchup as he goes. Right, right. He's, he's struggling. Uh, just I, I feel like these side beats are, are just putting him in a bad spot and he's really not able to so, and the, the side, he's getting punished for these side beats. He's getting put in a bad spot, and he's not being able to find his footing. Yeah. And, and in all honesty, I'm going to be real with you. I think this is the first time these two have ever played against each other. <laughs> yeah, oh, really? Yeah, I've never seen them play against each other. And this is the first time that I have seen it. So it's really got my attention to see how how Tater Needers actually plays in this magic here. There's a good side. He finally gets a hit into the down at 26%, and it's only climbing because Game & Watch did hit that high ceiling where he does take damage. Yeah, another thing that Tater tends to do a lot is make comebacks, so I wouldn't count him out of this game. Yet. Even though he's at 109, uh, we're seeing a lot of pressure off stage here. He may just take the stock. Yeah, yeah, that was good. That was really good because the positioning that he got it from downer wasn't even a drag down downer. It was just a regular downer, and then hits him up with the upbeat. The explosion there is going to be the one thing that people's not going to be able to survive, and I felt that Peeper was a little confident in surviving there because it was that low and the angle he was in at, but the damage there and the weight that Game & Watch is is not going to be in his favor. You can't get comfortable with a character like Game and Watch if you're over like 50%. Yeah. Because you might just die. So just top top three like character. I think it's top five now like character. It's 
Pichu. I know Pichu Sparta all game watch. Come on, like uh, Jill Puff, uh, yeah. Uh, Fox is high, I think. Fox is like really, really light. Yeah. People don't believe me when I tell them that. <laughs> yeah. Like, like you, character weight is super into like why some characters are like high on the tier list and lower on the tier list. Well, it, it's hard to tell when you're light and you're a fast faller though, because yeah. uh, you know, you don't die off the top as early. Like my character Link, he's a heavyweight, but the one thing he has over everybody in the cast is like when you fast fall speed you increase it by sixty percent. Link increased his by ninety. So it's a really big fast oh, fall wow. speed for a for a heavyweight. Yeah, you got a close game right now. Yeah, one seventy if Oh wow, he's able to actually get the armor through against the up being like you said, right? Tater, if he just keeps it up, he's gonna find the comeback. It was so close, but the down smash and the extension from the hurt box from going for that cross up back it was the one thing that cost him the game. That was that was almost a comeback. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean we saw the opening frames for the for the back air. Well what well, I guess what would you call it? The uppy so uh, Bowser Jr. does the uppy and then he yeah. hits you with the staff, but that's not really. It's just like you press A. And you're yeah, actually, um, so yeah, Bowser Jr. does get access to aerials. Um, it is going to be back air, up air, and then same thing. So well, it's he's like out of the cart. He oh, does have a different set of aerials. Oh really? I thought it was just one area. No, because he has up air, which is where he just like hits you, and it's actually like has a back hit box, very very small, but he has a lot of back air for it. Okay. Yeah. So. Trades. Well, not I've never seen Bowser Jr. down here, but I imagine it's not usable. <laughs> like, I saw one he's out of the car. Or she is out of the car, because it went to Yeah, I, I actually didn't know that. That's really interesting. They changed that between games as well, right? Yeah, it's it's more of an aesthetic change. Back then, it's just all characters who had the hammer. Now it's only Bowser Jr. himself who has the hammer, and then yeah. the rest of the Koopalings just have the staff, the magic yeah. staff. From yeah, Kamek. Cool ad addition. Uh, okay, so... Clearinator start. I mean, uh, paper starting out this game. Wow, well, he's got a big lead here. Yeah, started off how I did last game. Big lead, big damage up on Tater. Side lead, getting punished there. Or oh, down smash, and he got the sweet spot off of the two. Yeah, this is a big lead. So. Well, is it really though? Because at 62. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's the thing too, like we mentioned earlier, like that that weight that Bowser Jr. does have to to the character, right? Like you have to really be careful because you sometimes those are struggle to kill, and that's one thing that Game Watch can struggle with. It's a heavier set character, even though he can juggle Bowser Jr. It's like the kill factor there can definitely be one thing the character suffers against. All of that Mecha Koopa man paying off like Tater's insurance company. I like to actually call it Tater Insurance. Tater. Tater insurance, that's what the Mecha Koopa is, man. He sets it out there and it comes back to pay his dividends. Yeah, if you, if you get grabbed, it can, it can save you, it can save you a lot of combos. Uh, I do for it. I, in fact, I'd like to see some more. Ooh. I was really scared because like, I had not seen Tater just drop down yet for an edge guard. And then the last second, we did see him go for it. Yeah. Nice. Oh, up smash, yeah, definitely did good. That was a good attempt at a cross up too because he knew like, okay, I get the cross up. I need to stall myself because I see where Paper is at. And then I go for that landing, and Paper was not ready for that one. Right, right. Oh, uh, that's the one thing you have to be careful too. Is that you kind of have to play Game and Watch a slow game because of up B out of like up B for Game and Watch is so good, it has so much priority and speed that you really have to pay respect to it. Like so far, Taylor gets away with it with side B, but like it, if he doesn't get it right, he will get punished. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Exhibit A. Like, yeah, Forward Air was right there, man. <laughs> and because he low profiles you, has a wide hitbox, you actually cannot really challenge him that well. Yeah, it's wild. Okay. Side Soft stage again. Make it back. Jab, yeah, actually, really good this game. A lot of their power, but uh, not, not quite there. Um, that's another attempt to back air, and I'm telling you, man, you have to kind of respect that up B. Oh, I would have loved it if you would have picked up the Mecha Koopa, then go for a setup there, because if it was right positionally against Paper, not enough shield damage like in four. Okay, I think it looks like he went for that F smash because he knew that the Mecha Koopa was on the side, but uh, it was actually gone. I wonder if that was just a bait from uh, Internator. Uh, he's been going for those, and I feel like he's trying to read something against Game & Watch, but unfortunately Uppy is going to give Peter bad positioning. Hey man, even trade though. Yeah, trade, and that trade definitely... 
I would say that Benny for the Tatonator, but they were both at kill percent, really. Yeah. Nice. This time he actually reacts because he knows he's going to go for the upbeat, so he's immediately going for the downer to try to catch him. Yeah. Definitely, uh, Tater's definitely adapted better to this copy out of shield shenanigans that uh, Paper's on with. But uh, I'm wondering if it's going to be enough here because this game is pretty close. And I'm not too often familiar with Bowser Jr.'s grab combos, but I have not seen Tater go for a grab. And even if he's not going for a, like, a confirmed grab combo, he could be going for positioning or just damage with down throw or a pummel. And that's one thing we haven't seen from Tater too, especially the fact that we are seeing a lot of shield from Paper. I would definitely love to start seeing some empty hops, some tomahawk grabs, right? Just kind of mix up the time rate against paper. We'll see things start. Things are starting to work out though for Tater though. It's hopefully the adaptation we'll see here in the next game here. Okay, yeah. So the upbeat, Game & Watch's upbeat has the iframes there and it allowed him to just sneak. Ooh. And what happened there is the fact that like he hit Mecha Koopa and in this game, or just in general, any game, right? If you hit something that is like, a hitbox that you can hit, it extends your hitbox. Right. So the forward air was actually going to pay dividends, and then we saw the explosion off the side with Mecha Koopa, and that was not going to be anywhere near where people wanted to be at. Yeah, yeah. So good stuff, Tater. Uh, yeah. Bring it up in game three. Like I said, adaptation, and hopefully he starts to do some empty hops, mix up his timing, come out grabs. Yeah, if, if Tater could get some grabs here, he'd have to be in a really good spot. I mean, uh, Bowser Jr.'s combo game like, in this game is crazy. I don't know if he can get the whole 60% combo off grab like he can against a lot of other characters against Mario Watch just because he's light and small. Yeah. But I'm sure he can get some big damage on him, which is you know, going to be huge against Game & Watch since he's so light. I never knew, like I know a lot of the moves have names, like actual names from the game. I actually don't know what the turtle is. I, I just call it the sad turtle because <laughs> like, real talk, it just goes out there and he puts his head down. It's like, oh, dude. When I started playing this game, I had one of my friends who would always play Game and Watch, and yeah. he would just run away and back air people. Yeah. And there was like, we didn't know how to counter it. He was like the best of our friends in this game, just because he did this one. He hit, you, he hit you with a sad turtle, man. <laughs> he hit me with the sad turtle. I was so sad. <laughs> Sad turtle just gives you sad damage. You just go from there. <laughs> um, MLB too. Like the reason why like it's good for Tater too is like it, low, it actually low profiles him. And like I said earlier, side hitboxes that actually carry up into the first hitbox. Very similar to like Mart's up B in a sense, where like it's got that big thing. It's hard to. It's really fast. Got intense ability. And it's hard to deal with. It seems like Tater's kind of trying to challenge this up B a lot. I, I wonder if he realizes this just basically beats everything. Yeah. And especially with the way that Chef works too. I do want to see Tate, like I'm saying, I want to see him like start to mix up his timing and get around here, but he finally gets positioning here. Okay, yeah, and then the, those iframes, man, mm -hmm. they're gonna get you through yeah, every time. <laughs> it's so hard for him to deal with the character, and I kind of see the frustration on his face because he's like kind of trying everything, but Paper just has to play the slow game here and understand like if I get hit with anything, I just eject Osito, and the next thing you know, I find a different situation. Yeah, but. I don't know, man. This is a very close game. Yeah. I'm starting to see back airs and a couple uh, aerials here, so I feel like he's slowly progressing into like a couple of like empty hops. Oh, for I like what Tater did there. He kind of faked the clown car at super close range to try to bait something out, but it, but uh, Tater didn't really bite. All right, even stocks. 13 to 0, though, different percentage. This guy's not going for side B. I feel like he has to play this a little bit more like. I'm going to have to watch out with my side B because every time Paper just gets damaged, and even if it's not a big damage, it's that small pa uh, that small amount of percent that doesn't amount to a big payoff. Yeah, I think. Well, as Bowser Jr., it's like, what do you have at that point? You're not, oh, oh no, that's please! Gonna be dead. Paper uh, has a big lead here. Yeah. Definitely. We uh, know that big leads can definitely be taken away, though. Yes, exactly. That's what I was going. I mean. Tater pretty much almost won that first game. His uh, first game, right? That he was yeah. down. He was down, like, literally lost stock last game, and then he, he brought it back against Paper. He's got to be careful with those side leads. Yeah. I almost feel that without the side leads, like, the Gauss Jr. doesn't have a lot. He's not that fast. He's just big. Oh, Ooh. that was so close. And he almost, Air oh, is going to make it back. 
He almost had him too. Yeah. Knight gets a cross up back air. Oh, he's, he's in such a bad spot, but get out of the top, bailing him out. A nice uh, decision making there from Paper. The decision making there to actually get out of that situation with a platform and not get hit by a B. Okay. Kill it. It's really an unfortunate change they made with, with the, uh, the Mecha group. This is how they hit Paper's shield. Okay. Oh, and he parried oh. it too! <laughs> he gets him with side of it the last second. I can't believe that worked. <laughs> <laughs> he had tried so hard. Can you look? The, the biggest thing here too is like paper is just a turtle. He's literally playing this magic like a turtle. He only comes out of the shell, and if he's gonna get hit, he gets out of the shell and then comes back in. Yes. I can't imagine that's really frustrating for Tater right now. He's done it on his face. But uh, even game, I, I, this is literally even game one. Couple setups from the uh, from the game leader. He's gonna actually bring it back, but the DI was not there. He ended it with the sad turtle, dude. Yeah, you get hit by the sad turtle, you get sad. <laughs> it's I only call it the sad turtle because he like his head is like, oh.